are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the Sabian symbol imbued at the 12 degree Cancer new moon. The energies of this symbol are going to be influencing the energies for this entire 28 day cycle. The symbol is a hand with a prominent thumb held out for study. This is referring to the energies of determination, analyzation, and I think discernment over the course of this period. There is going to be a determination and a confidence. There's going to be maybe an educative role in the discernment that is taking place. There's a lot of information online. There's a lot of information in the field. It is overwhelming. It is flooding us. This is a month, as have previous months been, but this looks like a very highlighted month to practice our discernment. Hi, everyone. Welcome to July 2016. So, um, I'm doing this a little bit differently this month. First of all, I wanted to be on camera a little bit more this month, back like I used to be. The other is, it's here outside and it's a beautiful day. Um, Sunday morning, Father's Day actually. So we're imbuing the energies a little bit with maybe an honoring of the divine masculine. Who knows, maybe that was the reason why this wanted to happen. So. I also wanted to thank everybody on camera to um, all the well wishes that I received. I'm certainly not alone. There's a lot of people whose body systems are activated by the energy shifts going on and really the cellular and genetic shifts and changes and alterations that are activated within all of us right now. So uh, indeed, we are, shadows are coming up, karmic patterns coming up. It's been that way for many, many months now. And um, the bodies are feeling great fatigue and other things happening as a result of these shifts and changes that are just part of the natural evolutionary maturation process for humanity, for the collective. We're literally going from toddlerhood really more adolescence, but in a way it almost feels like toddlers to teenagers, but, and I think for some people it's like that, but I think for the vast majority of the collective, it is a bit like we're adolescents entitled and we're ready to mature. At least life is ready for us to mature. We need to mature because it's gone, it's done its run. The adolescent, um, the adolescent state of humanity has run its course and now we are maturing and that's part of the difficulty and the challenges, energetic and otherwise, with regards to um, the unfolding, you know, the, the pressure to, to step up. And I've said that actually for a long time since I've started these scopes, but it really is the truth and it is becoming exponential. And this year, you know, it really is the year of freedom and alignment. I've said that forever. People are calling it different things, but ultimately this is a time of becoming freed from karmic patterns, not just for our life stream, but for all of our life streams and not just for us, like our particular soul's journey and its combination as it relates to these other life streams that we're part of and participating in, but the collective. That's the pressure that so many of us know is at hand. That's the pressure that we feel because we get the bigger story of what is unfolding. So us healing self is inherently, as it always does, heals other. As within, so without. As above, so below. So when we shift, it shifts. When we shift, our perception shifts and everything that we perceive thus shifts. 
That's just the way it works. That's the way consciousness works. So, yeah, but there's other things at play. There's a lot at play. The energies that are um, uh, shifting and changing, raising, the frequency is raising, and thus things are becoming more and more transparent. So the solidity that was holding in heavier frequencies can't be hidden anymore. Thus, all the 12th house, past life, parallel life stuff coming up to the fore, right? So I won't go too much more into that. There'll be more, there'll be more coming from me, much more. So let's go ahead and get started. I have my cards because this month I'm going to do art and cards. We're going to do um, a little Andy Goldsworthy working with nature with at least with some Himalayan sea salts and some pebbles. Maybe some crystals too. I don't, uh, we'll see what I have, but I'm going to gather a collection. So we do essentially a little bas relief of each sign and we're going to use imagery. Again, we're all channels. We're all channels. So I encourage all of you to channel writing, art, drawing, whatever it is. But the fact is we're always channeling always every day. <laughs> so when we, when we can tap in and we can make that connection, then when you put that charcoal on the art paper or if you are working with natural elements you know even with geomancy throwing sticks or bones or stones which is not what i'm going to be doing for this cycle but something similar so i'm just going to be using natural elements and molding them in a drawing essentially so it's the same as using pencil on paper so i'm excited to do that because i've again just like the, the previous month, um, didn't I don't know how it's going to go, and I'm excited to see. But now I have my Carolyn Mace archetype cards. And so what I'm going to do, what's a little bit differently this month, is I am going to pull the essentially the maturation. So what is it that's asking to be uh, grown and attended to in your life during this month? first i'm going to pull it first and then we're going to see what comes you know what comes what is it that wants to be x y or z whatever this card comes for you and we'll pull the art and we'll pull the cards and we'll just see what the rest of the message is okay so let's take a look aquarius hi okay so let's go ahead and pull the archetype what quality set, what aspect of self is going to be pushed to be grown and evolved through your experiences over the course of this July 2016 Cancer New Moon cycle? So what is it that's going to be pushed for growth? Let's see. Okay. A bluebird just went flying right in front of us here, so FYI. Okay, Aquarius, lover. So there's some aspect of love that's going to be coming up. So I'm going to discuss this card. Let's move on now to your reading, and I'll discuss the archetype that's coming up for you there. Okay? Your trajectory, Aquarius. Let's check in. Let's tap into the field and tune into the Aquarius demographic and see what is the unfolding narrative for your demographic, the collective's evolution. What's happening? This is a general reading, so we're tapping into the general narrative that's playing out. What event, circumstance, or situation is likely to come forward to grow and mature you this month. Aquarius, what I'm doing is I'm using my Siri deck. I've already begun to shuffle actually, but I'm gonna finish on camera. I'm gonna cut the cards, set them aside, and then I'm gonna tap into the stones and the uh, Himalayan sea salt and the crystals if they wanna come forward as well. And I'm going to create forms, you know, create symbols, create art, channel that, have that come through. And then we'll pull the spread. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. And then we'll read it all holistically together. Okay. So Aquarius, Cancer, New Moon, Cycle, 
July 2016. This came quickly too. Yours and Capricorns are coming very rapidly. Okay. All right. So let's set that aside. And let me tap in a little bit here and see what wants to come. Aquarius, I offer, it's a little late now because I'm almost done, but it's optimal to really join me in the process, you know, as opposed to jumping ahead to the final product here because, as I've said in a couple of the other scopes, it really is part of the journey. I think why I was called to do this is to slow your minds down so that you can engage in the process of slowness, quietness, and also the symbology, what's coming. So... Uh, it really does serve you to join me in the process. So hopefully many of you are doing that. It allows your psyche to tune in with me to the field. This is coming a little far over. I'm coming a little bit on my reading platform, but that's all right. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I don't know if you can hear, but there's some crows cawing right outside at this time. So there could be some calls for you. Something's calling you this month, I bet. Something's calling you, dear ones. Those little crows. Those little crows. Okay. 
see if you can see everything. Yeah, you can perfectly. This this is cutting off a little bit. This is a little uh, crystal um, drop, um, but you can see most of it. I think there, so that's good. Push it up just a little. Perfect. Beautiful. Okay, that feels complete. So I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to set this aside. And let's go ahead and we're going to pull your cards and see what's coming up. Mmm. Family stuff for sure. Man is coming up again. This just came up for Capricorn. Actually, it was Libra. It was Libra. So, Aquarius, what I'm going to say is that if you, I'm going to put this here actually. So if you are an Aquarius that also has a other significant Libra um, aspects to your natal chart, uh, you're definitely going to want to watch that as well. Okay, so let's put this aside. And let's go ahead and pull your lover card because this is the archetype that came up when I was out in the park. So lover is what wants to be matured through you over the course of this Cancer New Moon July 2016 cycle. And Aquarius, this is about moving out of obsessive passion that harms others and self-destructive devotion and evolving it into great passion and devotion, unbridled appreciation for someone or something. Okay, so I'm going to set this up here. Okay, we'll just set that there. Okay, good. So let's take a look here. Could very well be a husband that's showing up. So again, you know, 80% of my demographic is women. 20% um, men out of that, you know, gay men, straight men, who knows. Um, but uh, see, the thing is, the alone card is coming up. So it could be that this man, the protection of the man. So let's say this is a spouse and let's say the spouse is male. You, the topic at hand for you this month Aquarius has to do with feeling protected by a man. Okay, so that's the thematic storyline for this chapter. So fe the feeling of being protected. All right. And again, your thoughts are going to be on spouse. Your thoughts are going to be on on your partner or your husband. Your spouse. Um, during this time, he might be away because What's coming up in the spiritual sector is he's either wanting to spend time alone or he needs to forbid, like he needs to go away and you feel alone. So it might be that the family feels abandoned, for example. But what I'm getting is that this is for a good trip. So, for example, it could be that in your life, this man needs to go away on a trip. He needs to go away. But I have to tell you, it feels like it's actually a healing journey. Like he almost needs a weekend away, a week away to go away with the guys. Something like that. He needs healing. There's something healing at play. But it could be that you're experiencing um, missing him. You know, you feel abandoned. You feel alone. You feel stuck with the family. Now, obviously, there's a lot of single people that watch this channel. So this is not going to apply to everybody. This is not going to apply to everybody. And it could be that for those of you who are single, that indeed... It, 
indeed the topic of aloneness is coming up. But the interesting thing is lover is what wants to be activated within you. So it's getting out of self-destructive obsession and it's moving you into unbridled appreciation, true flow, true flow of appreciation. And it could be that you need, a lot of you watching need to feel safe without the man. You need to feel protected on your own. You need to feel protected by your higher. You need to feel protected by life, by the web of life. This is just temporary. So literally it feels like, um, and you know what else? The other thing is the portal card also represents the internet. It represents the portal through which we communicate, cell phones and the internet. So it could be that uh, you are feeling lonely but indeed, there is grace that occurs while he's on the trip because the spouse is communicating or the partner is communicating via the internet, cell phone, etc. while he's away. But I have to tell you, I feel pretty strongly about this, that you, some of you out there are um, too obsessed or too reliant, too dependent on this lover, this spouse. And what's calling to happen is an unbridled appreciation without obsession. So, and that includes you. So an unbridled appreciation and love for you. In fact, I would say that that's actually the main storyline for all humans at this time is to tap into loving ourselves like radically, radical self-love. So this dependency is kind of what I'm getting. This needs to transmute. This is feelings of beauty. So the beauty card is coming up in the emotional sector. So the feelings of beauty that you feel for this man, and maybe this man is part of this family, is causing you to feel, let's say, lonely if he goes away or if he's not available. And I will tell you that this, um, this quartz that only has come up a few times, you're the last reading that I'm doing for this cycle excuse me, um, this really does feel like it represents a tear. It's the only crystal I have in this shape, and it does feel like a tear. And it's interesting because there's a bit of, if we look at the forms that came up here, throughout the month, there's like highs and lows, highs and lows. It's back and forth, back and forth. There was a, one other sign that kind of got that same it's a little bit here, a little bit there. You know, it's back and forth. You're navigating the journey of the month. So it's in and out, in and out. But there's highs and lows. On this side, it almost looks like a heart, but it's kind of more like an, an arrow, like the end of an arrow tip, you know, with this indent in it. But then this wanted to spiral around like a feedback loop. But there's a tear on this side, but then there's clarity, Aquarius, see? So this is a clear quartz sphere, and there's clarity that comes. So kind of through the middle of the month, because this is what I want to say, this is about right in the middle of the month. So there's going to be maybe some sadness that emerges, but on the other side of whatever event or the leaving or feeling lonely in the relationship, because some of you could actually be feeling lonely in the relationship. Maybe he doesn't go away, although the travel card does indicate that there's some, there is a trip or travel involved. Um, but in the middle of the cycle is kind of what I want to say, that there's going to be some sadness in relationship to love and, you know what, feeling split. That's what this is. That's what this is. There's sadness in relationship to the relationship splitting. And he goes, let's say, on a trip. He goes over here. But this one didn't. This one didn't. This didn't want to go anywhere. This stopped. So this is you, I think. I think this is you, and I think this is him going on some trip or journey. Now, for some of you, you're going to be the one going on the trip. You're going to be the one. It could be that for some of you, you're the one that goes on the trip and he's the one that's dealing with some sadness and you're on the other side of it, you know, through the portal, through the internet, 
see how it's there, there's a border here. So this could be actually another country that we're talking about here. He could be traveling to another country. And there's sadness on one side and there's just loving adventure on the other side. But there is a split. So there's a separation of physicality. But there is clarity. There's clarity that comes in the separation. There's a maturity that comes, Aquarius, in the separation. I hope that makes sense because it feels very powerful. It feels like a beautiful learning journey for you. Now down here, interestingly, so then as the month progresses, there's these two pink. So here, of course, is the pink Himalayan sea salt, which imbues pink, the energy of love. Down at the end of the month, there's these two uh, uh, um, paths. God, I'm losing, I'm losing my words. Two points that come out, projections that come out that could easily be the relationship that come out in love. So it's almost like there's a difficulty maybe in the middle of the month. Then by the end of the month, look, there's two. So that could easily be the relationship getting back together. They're on the same side of, let's say, the border, <laughs> the country or whatever. And these two people come back together and it's the, the pink energy again. So there's some sadness, but the separation serves clarity. It serves a function like everything does. Nothing happens, nothing that does not serve function. Nothing. So honor the process. Too many people bemoan their processes and they don't see the beauty in the function. It has to happen. So something, something comes here where there's some loneliness and some sadness, but you know what? It has to be. This is beautiful. It'll be a good growth month for a lot of you out there. So let's tap in and see what Dakini is coming up for you now. Hi everyone. Your I Ching micro story, a general energetic theme that's playing out for your particular sign is listed on the card that you're reading now, as is your optimal goddess embodiment, the Dakini embodiment. Who are you to become to ride this June wave optimally. In order to save time this month, I'm just um, recording this once. And if you'd like, for those interested, because not everybody is, you are free to visit my website and go to the online library where you can find the information for both your I Ching and your Dakini. Okay, everyone. So that completes the alchemy scopes for this cycle. July 2016, our Cancer New Moon cycle, which now the new moons are really aligning predominantly with the month, which is fantastic. So it's going to be a bit easier and more aligned for people to understand, you know, how these are running. Um, but for any of you out there that are desiring one-on-one -on -one, um, guidance, uh, my website is below. There's a list of services. For those of you interested in understanding your soul's narratives, the storylines that live within, the storylines that were encoded within you to be healed, matured, and evolved, you as an aspect of consciousness, I have a package called the Who Am I package, and it involves uh, the receipt of two different profiles, um, a video explaining the profiles, and a personal 90-minute one-on-one session with me. And I'm going to link that somewhere on the video and or below the video. So I invite, this really is a time for those of you interested in getting to know yourselves at a very deep, authentic level, but that is connected to the deeper realities of the strata of living systems, which is the storied archetypal symbolic realm. I invite you to reach out. And I also have one-on-one -on -one sessions. So for those of you interested in your own personal alchemy scope, I offer those. There's a, there's a list of services and products. So I want to thank you again so much for those of you that um, sent me well wishes during the last couple months. It's been meaningful and I really appreciate it. And I so see and honor the processes happening within each of you as well. 
So we're all riding the wave and we're all working through our processes. And it really is, it really is a hero's journey. There's just nothing else to say about it. This is a hero's journey. So you're doing a fabulous job. Let July and let the rest of this summer have the remnants of this mutable grand cross activations and the grand earth trine let it mutate you so that it allows you to free your mind free the resistance so that you can go with the flow going with the flow is the answer but also being discerning and also owning your power so there's like three various components to this process as we remember and remind this state of our wholeness, our whole soul, where we're going, who we are, and what we're here to do. It's a big storyline that we're working. So I'm sending you lots of love and infinite support. I'll talk to you next month.